Hi guys, it's Alicia here from AliciaDeJong.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to run a or create a conversion ad in your Facebook Ads Manager. So open up your Facebook Ads Manager, which you should already know about anyway if you're up to running conversion ads. And we're going to go create ad conversions is what is it going to be our marketing objective. Give your campaign a name. I'm going to call mine, mine's for a Wi-Fi ebook. And you want to give yourself an ad set name. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be tagging the USA 30 plus. It is um, for the Wi-Fi ebook. Then we want to, um, what is it that we want Facebook to track for us? In this one, I want to track leads. I want to know how many people are opting in to my uh, lead capture page. So I want the lead pixel. And in my previous training, I showed you how to put the lead pixel onto the thank you page. If you don't know how to do that, there'll be a link here on this video somewhere so that you can um, actually do that and you can track your lead pixel correctly. Okay, so now I'm going to go custom audience and I want to track for a lookalike audience. This is an audience that I've previously created. If you wanted to track for um, anything else, like maybe you just want to go for detailed targeting, you can add that in here. So my location is the United States. And I'm going to go from 30 up to say 60. And then I'm going to go and edit my placements. So edit placements. Untick all these. I just want to be in the Facebook feed only. I personally like to start at $10 a day as a budget. I think $5 is just not enough. And um, $10 is a happy medium without costing the earth, but just enough. Okay, I'm going to optimize my ad delivery for conversions. And I'm going to go for the one day click or view. Then I'm going to go continue. And my ad name is going to just be conversions, Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to go girl book because that's what my image is going to be. So I'm just going to go a single image. And I'm actually just going to pick a free stock image of this girl reading a book. And done. I'll actually run a couple of ads in here testing out the images to see which one's going to work best. Or I may even just run a couple of different ad sets on different uh, texts that I have in my thing. So what you really want to do is you want to have a couple of different ad sets. One, maybe testing images one testing audiences and uh, see which one's going to work best and then you turn off the one that works the best and the ones that are performing badly you turn off sorry you turn off the ads that are performing badly and you keep running the ad that's getting you the most leads or lowest cost per click okay so my website url paste it in Okay, so then you need to create a headline. Then you need to put in some text. So then you need to add in some text. I've already got some text ready to go that I've copied from a uh, Word document I had. So this one's a bit more of a story ad. And then um, I need to get my link again and put it in here. My call to action is going to be learn more. And I want to have a news feed link description. So what that's going to do is when you go over to this, it's going to put it down here. Okay, the news feed link description. So this one's your headline. This is obviously your story. And um, news feed link description. For this exercise, I'm just going to leave it at the general one just because of time. Display link. 
I'm happy with that display link, that's absolutely fine. Sometimes though, I do like to put in my own, as long as the domain is the same, start business info.website is actually my website uh, link. So I'll have that there and then learn more. You want to have your track, your pixel on, start business info pixel on, because on my landing page for this is a pixel, which is the view content pixel. So you want to have that there so that you can um, retarget the people that land on this page. My previous video on how to set up a Facebook pixel and lead pixel video, which you'll see, it should pop up here on the video very soon is going to show you where you need to put this. Okay, and then just go confirm. Okay, so after pressing confirm, Facebook will approve. I need to reread some of my text first and my, before I actually get it going. But um, uh, once you press confirm, Facebook will then make sure that your ad complies with their uh, rules and regulations. And then once your ad is running, you should be able to because we're checking this for leads, you should have leads will pop up here against link click or post engagement. You'll be tracking for leads, okay? And then you can start to track, oh, okay, so like, for example, on this particular advert, it's costing me $9.73 per lead. If I go over to performance and clicks, you will see like on this particular one, because this is a conversion ad, six leads, it is um, getting a 3.65% click-through rate. So I'm quite happy with that. That's, that's good. Um, and those six leads are in my autoresponder. So that's how you set up a conversion ad and you just read some basic figures on the back end once that ad's running. I hope this helps. And uh, look, if you get some value, please share this video out. If you'd like to join my newsletter to stay up to date with the latest on Facebook ads, you can join my newsletter at um, aliciadijong.com forward slash newsletter. And I, my preference on landing pages is ClickFunnels. I like to use ClickFunnels as my uh, landing page preference. I think it's the most responsive and you can Curate some really cool um, professional looking websites in here and landing pages, plus a lot of other functionality that you can also have that's going to help you with uh, tracking and um, making sure that your ads are giving you the right information back. I'll give you an example for that, like leads, if you, if for example, your pixel's working and everything's there, but then for whatever reason, it's not showing you the leads or the leads aren't coming through to your autoresponder. ClickFunnels also collects those leads for you. So over in your context, contacts for that page, I find this really handy because when there's a, a little break in the wheel somewhere or the process, I can always come back and I know that I've still collected that lead in here. This one may not have any leads yet, but Oh, it has. That's my test one. But you will see that that will be there. And then you're like, okay, so if that's there, but why isn't it over in my get response? And then you can start to break things down. It's one of my favorite things I like about ClickFunnels. Also, I like the stats because then I know how many people are clicking, and how many are unique, and how many people are opting in. It's just another great way to be able to track your information and your numbers and your return on investment for your Facebook ads. Okay, that's it for me. Bye for now.